Though the cytochrome P450 family of enzymes metabolizes about 75% of clinical drugs, several drugs are known to block its action. This can lead to adverse drug interactions when taking multiple drugs. How does this happen? A patient takes drugs A and B. While drug A is metabolized by a P450 enzyme, drug B blocks the same enzyme. This increases drug A levels, leading to toxicity. Both natural and synthetic compounds inhibit P450s, but little is known about multi-P450 inhibition by natural compounds. So, we tried to identify natural multi-P450 inhibitors that will help their rational use and reduce drug interactions by developing a computational model called NNC. First, we acquired experimentally validated data for P450 inhibitors and identified compounds with complete inhibition data for five P450 enzymes. Next, we constructed two NNC models, NNC1 and NNC2. NNC2 used a structurally more diverse and larger set of compounds than NNC1. The NNC was a cascade of many small ANNs in a ladder-like framework. Each ANN independently performed one simple task such as data transformation, information integration, or prediction output. From 1,875 molecular descriptors, 12 were shortlisted and the one with the highest correlation to P450 inhibition became the ladder's highest point. Corresponding ANN models using the same number of molecular descriptors and compounds as NNC models, but simpler in architecture, were constructed for comparison. Then, we compared the NNC models with corresponding ANN models. Both NNC models showed a significantly higher correlation between chemical structure and multi-P450 inhibition and higher prediction accuracy. And between the two NNC models, NNC2 exhibited higher prediction accuracy upon testing with a larger and structurally more diverse set of compounds. Finally, we used NNC2 to scan about 160,000 natural compounds and identify 35,186 potential multi-P450 inhibitors, among which alkaloids emerged predominant. By modeling NNCs, we found that alkaloids are most likely to exhibit multi-P450 inhibition and thereby pose high drug interaction risk. We think this finding can shed new light on multi-P450 inhibition caused by natural compounds and contribute to rational use of natural compounds. Future studies should examine correlation of parameters besides chemical structure with P450 inhibition and confirm predictions of this model with in vitro and in vivo methods. We believe this novel model architecture can be easily translated to other areas to study structure-activity relationship and subsequently reduce research cost and effort.